Welcome to QuickSci. Today we're going to look at how scientists check their results in their experiment. There are two ways in which scientists do this. Two ways by which scientists check their results. They do it through these processes called replication and the other process is called repetition. Replication is when one scientist copies the experiment of another scientist. The scientist that is copying the experiment will follow the exact experimental procedures to see if he or she will get the same results. So replication is when one scientist copies the experiment of another scientist. Replication improves accuracy. It lets you know how close you are to the true value. And also remember, replication involves two or more scientists where scientists are copying an experiment from other scientists. Repetition is when the scientist repeats the observation or measurements in an experiment several times. Each time the scientist records data for an observation or measurement, it is called a trial. For example, if he records data from an observation or measurement, that would be called trial one. If he repeats the same observation and measurement and records that data, that will then be called trial two, and he will continue and he will get trial three, trial four, trial five, and it goes on. The goal of repetition is to increase your precision. That is how close the measurements are to each other or how close the results are to each other. Now, let's use some simple examples to help you to understand the difference between accuracy and precision. Remember, replication measures accuracy Repetition is a measurement of precision. We are going to use a dartboard as an example. So if you are playing darts and you want to be accurate, you want to throw your darts towards the center of the dartboard. The closer you are to the center, the more accurate you are. And if you throw a dart and it lands in the center of the dartboard, that means you were accurate. You hit your target. Because remember, the target is the center. Okay? Now, precision, as said before, is how close your readings are together. Now, we're going to use the dartboard again as an example. If you're throwing your darts and all your darts land in one specific location and they're close together, that means you're precise. If you throw your darts and all the darts land far away from each other that means you are not precise so that's it for today subscribe and stay awesome goodbye everyone